Hi there, my name is Dee, and in this video I'm going to show you how to trace an image on Procreate. This is a great way to improve your drawing skills and can be really helpful if you want to start digitalizing your artwork. So whether you're a complete beginner or just looking for some tips and tricks, stick around because I'm about to show you how it's done. Start off by saving your chosen photo or image on your iPad photo gallery. Here you can see I've chosen my photo. Then you're going to open up Procreate, open up a new canvas. I'm choosing screen size. And then you're going to add your image to your canvas. Go to the wrench tool, select add, insert a photo and choose your chosen photo. Now you can adjust your photo, change the size, move it around so that you've got the perfect composition for your tracing. Next, go to your layers panel, select the layer with your image on it and click the N. The N is the opacity slider. If you move it to the left, you decrease the opacity. By moving it to the right, you increase the opacity. We want to decrease the opacity so that we can trace it while still being able to see the image underneath. Next, you're going to create a new layer on top of your image layer. Select the plus sign. Once you've got that, you're going to choose a brush to work with. I like to use the inking brush, the technical pen. Once I've done that, I adjust the size so that the thickness is adequate for my tracing. Next, we're going to look at the stroke stabilization feature in Procreate. This makes it easy to get smooth, consistent lines when drawing, especially when drawing small details. To find this feature, tap on the brush you are using and then select stabilization from the options on the left sidebar. From here, you can adjust the level of stabilization according to your needs. If you want to avoid shaking while tracing small details, increase the stabilization level. If you're working on a smaller area, you might want to increase the level of stabilization for a neater look. However, if you're tackling a larger project, you can opt for less stabilization to keep it looking more natural. As soon as you've got that ready, you can start tracing your edges. As you can see, I'm working on the hair now. I tend to use a more sketchy mark when tracing hair because there's so many fine pieces that come off the main area. I'm also using this technical pencil or technical pen rather, but you don't have to work with this brush. You can use any brush that suits your style of art making. Often I prefer using the technical pen because it produces a very solid line. So if I want to color drop into the traced piece at the end, it's much easier to do so. Oftentimes when I'm drawing more organic sketches or organic objects, I like to use the Procreate pencil, the 6B pencil. I also like to adjust the opacity when I'm filling in or tracing certain areas of my sketch. This is particularly useful for when you are tracing highlights or shadows that you intend to fill with a different color. I like to move the screen around and adjust it as I go along tracing. Sometimes I increase the size of the image and sometimes I decrease the size of the image. When you're working in this way or whenever you are illustrating on your iPad, you may find that your hand sticks to the surface of your iPad. And so it is often very useful to use a drawing glove, um, which is quite silky and helps your hand slip across the surface or move across the surface without sticking and causing irregularities in your line. Once you've finished tracing your image, you can then save it or export it in any particular file format you wish to. I like to select the wrench tool and share it as a PNG because the quality is good. You can also uncheck the background and then share it as a PNG so that the background is transparent and you've shared it as a transparent PNG. And there you have it. Now you know how to trace on Procreate. My name is Dee. Hit that subscribe button now and watch this next video on how to adjust the opacity of a layer in Procreate. Thanks for watching.